All right. Another good find today. Bunch of relays. All silver contacts on there. He's got he's got four of them. I'm not sure what these are. Time delay relay. So there should be a couple of them. Should be one, two, three, four. No, uh, three, six of them. This guy. So it looks like there should be six in there as well. And then my motor starter. These are uh, hit or miss. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. But the auxiliary on top, this one could be a, a good one. All right, we got a pretty good yield today. So one of those relays had gold pins on it. And some gold boards. So I'll take this off of there and then put the rest of this in hydrochloric acid with hydrogen peroxide to pull what little gold is off there. Same with this and all of those connection points are gold too. Not a lot, but I'll add it to what I got the other day. And then I also got from the motor starter, these was this brass is a little too thick for my pliers to cut through, so I'm just gonna sweat. Um, let's come on here, sweat these off. Where's my focus? There we go. So I'll sweat those off. All of these guys here. very big and then these I'll go ahead and start today with aqua regia we're gonna get a weight before and a weight after see what we got all right so let's see what we got for weight So we're starting off with 39 grams, 39.3. I'm gonna say 30% of that is gonna be silver. That's my guess. Oh, and if you want me to, if you want to see me disassemble this stuff, let me know in the comments. Um, I just like to keep the video short and sweet for you. But uh, I can always include that if you guys are interested. All right, we're gonna start with 300 milliliters. Let's see here. Hydrochloric acid. I'm just gonna use aqua regia for this. Start off with a hundred milliliters of nitric. So yesterday's batch we used uh, 
70. And so that wasn't, I should have got a weight. I gotta get better at that uh, before. But I know this is about twice as much, so I don't wanna overshoot it. And uh, ooh, let's turn the hot plate up, get that to three and a half. So I don't wanna overshoot my nitric and make a bunch of silver chloride. Um, and instead of yesterday's video of me just adding to it, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this batch out so we can get a good visual of what we got left. And then I'll go ahead and add more hydrochloric and more nitric as I need. And we'll have a good reference point of, of what the 100 uh, milliliters of nitric did. Um, so then I can either double it or you know put another 100 in there or if I need to you know put 50 or 30 or um, you know just kind of walk it in but set to three and a half um, should be roughly 190 degrees just below boil and uh, we're gonna let this uh, we're gonna let this go That batch from yesterday is completely, or that little, that little nugget we made yesterday is completely uh, dissolved and is currently in uh, plated out. So I don't want to use this filter anymore. It's pretty packed with slimes, so I'm going to take that out. I put a new filter in, but I'm going to wait before because uh, my anode is pretty small. So I'm going to wait so I can melt another button on the end of that. So it's currently off right now. Waiting for, uh, waiting for more silver. All right, so we still got a really good reaction going on. If we look down in here, we can see that it's eaten quite a bit of the base metals off. Looks like we still got a couple pieces in there. Uh, those could also be silver though, silver plated. So we might just see the outside film on there. Let's see. We'll figure that out when the reaction is done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drain this out. Our reaction slowed down. Just the filter screaming. Rinse this off with a little uh, distilled water. Got a piece fell out. Nope. All right, so I see a little bit of uh, silver chloride on the bottom. So some of these might be not completely silver. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and 
throw this in the, uh, well, like I said, some of that could be, uh, it could have been plated. Uh, but some of these could also be tungsten. So we will find out here. I'll put it in the melt dish and uh, we'll go from there. If uh, tungsten's in there, it's kind of a pain in the rear. I then have to um, uh, try to pick them out, each one individually, and then sort it out that way after. So we'll go from there. So I sped this clip up here. It was uh, roughly 10 minutes long. I, I figured that was a little overkill. I didn't need to watch me for 10 minutes melting these little silver contacts into a solid button. And uh, what surprised me was, was that all of those were silver. Um, I didn't find any tungsten ones in there. I thought by the color of some of them for sure that we were going to end up with uh, some tungsten but they could have been just less purity or you know or less you know yeah less purified silver contacts to begin with so some of them are almost pure and 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 you know by the looks of them maybe some of those were 80 percent or something along those lines This current torch I've got it does the job, but just not not fast enough. Kind of like I was talking about yesterday too. Um, you know, I think it adds a lot of carbon. You know, or if I had a oxyacetylene tank, we could we could keep that away. But I just work my way around the outside, slowly start to melt it up and. Watch it all come together. Getting a little better with uh, operating with the phone. Definitely could use a tripod for sure. But I'd like to get some more safety hazards before, or safety equipment, before I. Uh, really invest in the in the video making but what's funny here is I, I, I waited too long and the poor X cure or pure or um, solidified so I had to reheat it bring out the bigger tongs and pull it out with the, the more accurate tongs but there we go all right I'm just gonna boil this get the rest of that borax off of there in uh regular tap water set it up to four all right I'll see you in about a half hour so got it all cleaned up well for the most part hydrochloric acid works way better than tap water when cleaning the borax off but once I get a couple of them, I will uh, go ahead and give them all a bath at the same time. Let's see here. Got my fan on, so it's a little off. All right, well, I end up with 14.4 uh, grams. Not too bad. That, uh, wraps up today's uh, video and today's scrap so we will uh, get another batch of this and when I get five six of these I will uh, go ahead and throw a new filter in the silver cell and start purifying it I will have a couple projects coming up I got some more gold refining so I got four boards to pull those off of there. I think I've got 
four more trash. Um, what are those things? Samsung tablets. So I've got four more of these boards. I've got four more of these boards. Pull off of there. I got a couple of the goodies that I got from today. Not a whole lot, but it all adds up. I showed you these already. Curious to see about those. I imagine those are just plated because that would be a lot of gold for that relay, but we'll find out. We got uh, more gold here. And I got some here. Throwing stuff around. A lot of these have a good amount of gold on the back. And then just the ends of uh, flat wire. This doesn't have much. Stainless steel in the back. I've got like two little gold pieces on it, so. And to change it up a little bit, I've got get some of these guys left to torch up. So just a couple of a uh, couple of projects I got. Look at that. They were torched. So that stockpile's been uh, building up and just about ready to uh, get them all done. I think I'm gonna let them sit in hydrochloric acid for a while before I even start it, just so I can get rid of. Uh, all the little legs. Let the chemical do the work. I don't have to grind them off individually. But let me know which ones you want to see first.